This is the kind of sound that's believed to have caused hearing problems, dizziness and even concussion in American staff at the US Embassy in Havana. A mobile phone recording to simulate the unexplained sounds, or sonic attacks, an accusation against Cuba that the country's foreign minister has called completely false. Speaking in Washington, Bruno Rodriguez said the allegations were steeped in politics. The U.S. government made a baseless, shallow, hasty and unacceptable decision to expel 17 officials from our embassy in this city, including a significant part of our personnel. This measure, aside from having a political basis, has a negative impact on consular services. It comes days after the U.S. President Donald Trump said he believed the accusations against Cuba. I do believe that, and it's a very unusual attack, as you know, but I do believe Cuba is responsible, yes. The nature and source of the health problems affecting U.S. diplomats remains uncertain. One theory proposed by Cuban officials investigating the allegations is that the perpetrators weren't even human. We compared the spectra of all the signals that were provided with the spectra we recorded, and apparently this common noise is very similar to the noise a cricket makes. The pulling of over half of U.S. Embassy staff in the Cuban capital and a travel warning for Americans planning trips to the country last month marks a flaring of tensions between the countries with an already fragile relationship.